Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after posting just before Christmas that Microsoft had confirmed that we had two new known issues regarding version 24H2 of Windows 11, where um, the update was blocked on more PCs due to auto HDR gaming issues, and they also acknowledged new audio bugs. Both those videos will be linked down below in the end screen. Once again, unfortunately, Microsoft has confirmed yet another known issue regarding Windows 11 24H2 over on its known issues health dashboard page. And it seems that every time I open up um, my computer for the day, there is another known issue to tell you guys about, which is unfortunate. And just before we have a look at the new known issue, my advice is if you haven't installed version 24H2 yet, I would wait until at least March, April next year. That's just my personal take on it. Um, I obviously installed 24H2 for the purpose of this channel and I have had a good couple of issues regarding the update. But nonetheless, moving on. So the latest known issue is that when using media to install Windows 11 version 24H2, the device might remain in a state where it cannot accept further Windows security updates. So that's the actual problem. Now, Microsoft says that this occurs only when the media is created to include, and if we head over to our Windows update history, this occurs only when the media is created to include the October 2024 Patch Tuesday security update. So that would be this update, which rolled out on the 8th, 9th um, of October, depending on your region, which is KB5044284 or the November Patch Tuesday security update, which rolled out on the 12th, 13th of November, depending on your region, which was KB5046617. Okay, so those are the two updates affected. So they say this only occurs when the media is created to include the October 2024 or November 2024 security updates as part of the installation. And as mentioned, those updates were released as the Patch Tuesday security updates for both October and November of this year, 2024. Now, basically, at the end of the day, what this means, um, in a nutshell, is that if you are trying to install new security updates or Patch Tuesday updates on Windows 11 24H2, you'll be an, you will be unable to do so um, if you installed the updates using media like CD or USB. So as an example, if we head over to download Windows 11, if you were using the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD, that could be affected if you were installing Windows 11 24H2 or trying to with those two Patch Tuesday security updates we have just mentioned using, as an example, the media creation tool. Now, Microsoft says this, and they say on a side note, this only occurs when utilizing media such as CD and USB flash drives, okay, to install Windows 11 version 24H2. This issue does not occur for devices where the October 2024 security update or the November 2024 security updates are installed using Windows updates. So it won't, you won't be affected if you install those updates using the normal Windows update um, page um, on your Windows 11 OS, okay? So just take note of that. Or if you installed Windows 11 24H2 with those updates using the Windows and Microsoft update catalog, okay? So it only occurs if you're using USB, CD, DVD. It won't occur if you are using Windows update or installing the updates using the update catalog. Now, basically, Microsoft says that the workaround um, to prevent issues, they say, do not install Windows 11 version 24H2, which installs the October 2024 or November 2024 security updates. Instead, ensure that media used to install Windows 11 version 24H2 includes, okay, so if you are using, as an example, I know we're jumping around a little bit, but obviously this can be quite confusing. So if you are using the media creation tool, as an example, to make a bootable USB or DVD, make sure it includes, if we head to our update history, make sure it includes the December 
update, Patch Tuesday update, which rolled out on the 10th, 11th of December, depending on your region, which was this update, KB5048667. So make sure it includes the December 2024 monthly security update released on the 10th, 11th of December this year, 2024, or a later update, but that is the latest update. So just take note of that. So quite a bit of important information here if you are affected. And Microsoft says that the next steps, as always, they are working on a resolution and will provide more information when it is available. And obviously, if I get that info, I'll try and keep you guys posted ASAP. So unfortunately, yet another known issue with version 24H2. So at this stage, um, I think Microsoft should have released version 24H2 as a 25H1, which would have rolled out maybe around about April, May. I think it was released a little bit prematurely, and I think the reason for that is because they wanted to push 24H2 out with the release of Copilot Plus PCs on the 18th of June, but that's just another whole story. But nonetheless, that's the latest known issue um, if you would be interested or you find yourself affected. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.